Yo, if Ganon makes a good throw, I think Tyreek Hill will be open on this corner route. Tyreek? Tyreek Hill. Oh my god! Oh my god! He caught it! What a catch! What a catch! Yo, what is good, guys? It's Sam, back with another video. If you guys didn't see in the intro, we picked up Mr. Tyreek Hill with our 93-94 power pass. These are his stats. And, guys, this is a post-commentary because my mic got muted for some reason when I was recording the video. So, if the... If it's a little weird, like I'm not perfectly on point, um, I don't have my live reaction. And then, on top of that, I did pick up Deion Sanders, guys, so that's really good. And then, also, um, I also got a maxed out sprinter, guys. So now I have 50 out of 50, I mean 40 out of 40 sprinter. And how I got um, Deion Sanders is because I sold Lance Allworth, and I also sold the Redux CJ Watt. You guys see right there, I sold Lance Allworth. I also sold TJ Watt, but it doesn't show up. And then those are just Deion Sanders, and I bought those two guys for training so I can max out Sprinter. But yeah, my team was looking pretty solid this game. Um, You guys could see in these two gameplays, Tyreek Hill and Deion Sanders, wide receiver. His cornerback card is really good, and it's really good for me. But those two cards played such so well for me. And then yeah, I just had to quick, I had to quick sell those because I forgot to do that. And right here I'm hopping into the game. So game one, guys, we played against a Dalvin Cook, a Rich Gannon, and a John Randall. So this guy definitely didn't have the a great team, but I'm gonna try to post commentary like it's like an actual game play. So I'm gonna try to make sure it's like real. Okay, it's already second in inches. We are using Steve Atwater this play. And he he's, he was running strong close all game. And what I was doing, I'm running the 4-6 playbook. And pretty much, with um, I motion over to um, um, in nickel 3-3-5. And then I motion over to nickel 3-3-5 wide. Because nickel 3-3-5 wide has better plays. And it's more compact. But... When you motion over, you have all your good safety, so that's why I ran it. This guy was getting extremely lucky with his throws, but right here we got a nice user lurk with Sam Mills. I, I was like, should I go down or not? But I decided to take it back to the house. Sam Mills, he's actually a pretty good card. He's not the best card, but he's a really good card. This play, this guy went on play action, and Eric Kendricks, who's literally like an 89, literally insta-shedded him. This guy was really not the best. He chucks up another one to Denzel Ward. I think he threw like four or five picks. I go down with Denzel Ward this play so I can actually get some time. This game, I forgot to activate Terry Kill with Route Tech, but luckily next game I did. And my O-line could definitely use some upgrading because, let's just say I get screamed at a lot. This play, I look for on um, the Tyreek Hill route, but it was just a bad throw. I don't think it was really that open. And then, I'm running Saints playbook on offense now. I don't know if you guys didn't already see in the intro, but I love this play. This is like one of the meta plays of Madden 20. It was a cover three beater, so I thought I beat, it, beat him. But A, I didn't have any time, and B, it was Rich Gannon, and he got a pick, which was annoying, but we tackled him at the 8, and then the next play, well, the following play after this, my bad. Yes, sir, Taylor Mays the GOAT! Taylor Mays the GOAT! Yes, sir, guys, you see, Taylor Mays the GOAT. Gets a pick six for us. Nice pick six. I'm so glad to have him on the team. So this guy was actually not a bad player. His team was not the best, but he did have a partial Vikings theme team, I believe. I can't tell if that's the team of the year, Dalvin Cook, that he had. I gotta look back at the footage. But yeah, he had Randy Moss. He, he literally had a decent team. But he was just making terrible reads. And then this catch by Johnny Smith, I was so mad. I don't understand how he caught that. He was just making terrible reads, and EA was just rewarding him. 
like right here i literally have a zone out there i specifically put someone in that position so that would be an interception if you threw it but no ea loves this kid so it doesn't really matter which is dumb and he runs with dalvin cook i'm actually surprised for his overall he actually had some decent stick work he kicks his field goal but that was dumb because not this play because man coverage is literally a glitch and that doesn't score but this play this is well next play sorry i get plays mixed up but this play i cook up a dot to tire kill rich gannon showing he has some wheels delivers an absolute heater and yeah tire kill on this slant route was lethal this game i did get a terrible animation i don't know if you guys saw but that was honestly my bad. I strafed, so I didn't gain as much speed. And then, right here, Deion Sanders just... It's Deion Sanders. That was kind of a meta play last year. This pistol out of Saints playback is so good. And Deion Sanders with 97 speed is just too good. And then, right here, I believe he makes a bad read. I can honestly not tell. No, he makes a decent read, but... I don't think he ends up scoring. Yeah, he doesn't end up scoring. He scrambles out, throws it away. I believe this was a lucky play. No, this was, um, yeah. Right here, he actually cooked up a dot, I believe. Yeah. He cooks up kind of a dot. Should have been a pick, I felt like. But that was honestly not too bad of a throw. He throws it up, and that should have been a pick. The next play, he just dots up Randy Moss. And then this play, I'll just let it play. Yep, terrible read. Good read by him, that play. But he tries to hurry up, and that's already then the end of half. Because when you hurry up, Madden's dumb, and it just ended the half. Just like that. It's weird. I started back on offense, and I had a touchdown to Deion Sanders. But I was trying to do a stop and go just for the memes, and it gave me a terrible animation. But that does not matter, because I got Evan Ingrams, who I still don't know how he caught the ball. I'm not even trying to be funny, but Evan Ingram, I don't know how he's catching the ball. Like, Madden really isn't that realistic if Evan Ingram's catching a pass. But this play, I was just annoyed. I wanted him to get out of the game. Um, that was kind of a lucky read, but next play, he was, he earned the, he paid for his bad reads. DRC finally puts him down, gets a pick six. I mean, I actually pitch, pitch it to see Vatwater. Does a little bit of swerve nation. And just like that, he is out of the game. On to game two. I hope you guys like this style of comment. In the second game, we played against a 49er team team, who I absolutely hated this kid. This kid was a stretch absolute spammer. I mean spammer. He had Fred Warner. I mean, he might be decent on his game team, but don't get Fred Warner's. One middle linebacker are useless, and two, he only has 87 speed, which is terrible. I started on an offense, and yes, I did activate Terry Kill with Route Tech. Terry McLaurin, he still one of the best wide receivers in the game. I feel like he deserves an upgrade, but it's debatable. Nick Bosa sacks me there. This game, my O-line was absolutely getting crapped on. He was a D-line user, and I literally could not get rid of the ball. I might have had an open play, but I'm not really sure. Probably, probably should have punted it, but he was a Alvin Kamara kid. I think he might have had the 95, if I'm not mistaken. And Alvin Kamara is a really good card, but why spam the run with Alvin Kamara? Like, I understand Alvin Kamara is one of the best in the league, but if I had Alvin Kamara, I would just pass the ball to him. I had a summon him at fullback, and right here, that's really Mostert. Mostert just has the speed of, like, a cheetah. But right here, I'll just let the... Never mind. I keep messing up. Tara McLaurin got absolutely murdered there, but... Yeah, Deion Sanders also got murdered, but just let Tyreek Hill speed play. So the combination of Tyreek Hill's speed, 
route running and route tech on that corner route just burnt that guy. I believe that was Steve Atwater, who's not the best coverage guy, but my god, this guy was such a Mozart kid. I wanted to message him, but yeah. He made a little bit of a sketchy pass there, I would say. And yeah, this was a really lucky play. I'll just let this drive play for itself. I was literally throwing beam. Fun story, I actually did not know I had one second left on the clock. I knew my time was very low, but I was so pumped when I had one second because I got three extra points, and that really saved me in the end. If I did not stress enough, this guy ran the ball. He just ran it, and 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 then ran it some more. And then he ran it again, and again. I don't know exactly, but I don't, you guys will probably see at the end of the game. His passing rating was terrible. I think he threw like, he th he definitely threw a, I don't think he threw, yeah, he threw a pick. But he like, barely ever passed the ball, and if he did, it was just a check down to Alvin Kamara. I know that's Alvin Kamara in IRL, but it was just annoying. That play was so annoying. I was literally right there. Here, I didn't make my correct adjustments, and I'll just let the play play out. He does a cover three dot because I was in cover three. He just runs, um, whatever it's called. And then he just continues to run with Alvin Kamara. And then, again, again, yeah. One more time with Alvin Kamara, and then this time it didn't end as well for me, let's just say. But now it was my time to sweat. I was not going to let a runner beat me. My time was here. Dion, Tyreek Hill, Terry McLaurin, and Rich Gannon, they were my four guys. They needed to play big. If these four messed up, my game would be over. Rich Gannon in trouble, throws it away. I'm driving down the field though. He, this guy was giving me so many check downs, it was so nice. Right here I cook up a little <laughs> kill. You guys see, that was a fire dot to Tyreek kill. Such a laser. I give Saquon Barkley the go to run, run play. I don't really use him this game. He, I'm not gonna get rid of him, but this play, he did. This game, he didn't really fit my scheme. I was just throwing dots and dots and dots. Right here, I'm getting screamed at again. Luckily, again, and throws it away. And then finally, I'm third and five. I need this. If I do not get this, my game is over. And let's just play the cliff. We hit Dion, gets popped, but Dion Sanders been playing so well for me. Why are we still right here? Right here. Just to suffer. We get sacked. But I'm not done yet. I'm not giving up. I look for tire kill on this corner route. 10, 5, almost there. And this is the play of the game. Yo, guys, I think I have Tyreek Hill open. Yo, Hill? Yo, Rich Gannon, can you please make a good throw? Tyreek Hill? Tyreek Hill! Let's go! What a catch! What a catch! What a catch by Tyreek Hill. The absolute glitch. What a catch. 
Oh my gosh, what a catch by Tariq Kill. And that's not the end. This play, you see the music is hyping up, slowly getting better and better. Taylor Mays. Interception, Taylor Mays. But the game is not over yet. There's still a minute and 13 seconds left. I hit up Tara McLaurin this play, down at the 32. Next play, I hit up Deion Sanders, third and one. This is the game. What else do I do? Touchdown, Tyreek Kill. Yep, guys, that was the video. Tyreek Kill, Deion Sanders played insane. And I don't know if you guys can see, but um, the other guy, Joe Montana, was doing terrible. Thanks for watching.